Sarah Thompson lived in the quiet suburban neighborhood of Willow Creek, nestled among tall oak trees and manicured lawns. Sarah was an amiable young woman who cherished the tranquility of her surroundings and the close bonds she shared with her neighbors. Among them was Mrs. Johnson, a sweet elderly widow who lived alone in the house adjacent to Sarah's. Their daily exchanges over picket fences and shared cups of tea painted a picture of idyllic neighborly camaraderie. But darkness lurked beneath the surface of this seemingly peaceful community, waiting to shatter Willow Creek's serenity. As the days passed by in their usual rhythm, Sarah couldn't help but notice the absence of Mrs. Johnson's friendly presence. The once bustling house next door now stood eerily silent, its curtains drawn tight against prying eyes. Concern gnawed at Sarah's conscience, prompting her to inquire about Mrs. Johnson's whereabouts among their mutual acquaintances. However, her inquiries were met with puzzled shrugs and uneasy glances, as nobody seemed to have seen or heard from Mrs. Johnson in days. With each unanswered question, a sense of foreboding settled over Sarah, casting shadows where there was only sunlight once. As Sarah's worry deepened, strange occurrences began to plague the once peaceful neighborhood. In the dead of night, Sarah heard muffled whispers drifting from Mrs. Johnson's house, though she knew the older woman lived alone. The faint sound of dragging footsteps echoed through the stillness, sending shivers down Sarah's spine. Lights flickered ominously in the windows of the vacant house, casting dancing shadows on the surrounding trees. Sarah's sleep became restless, haunted by unsettling dreams of dark figures lurking in the shadows, their eyes gleaming with evil intent. Despite her growing unease, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that these eerie happenings were somehow connected to Mrs. Johnson's disappearance. Driven by a mounting dread, Sarah resolved to uncover the truth behind Mrs. Johnson's disappearance. With trembling hands and a racing heart, she ventured into the abandoned house next door, guided only by the feeble beam of her flashlight. Cobwebs clung to the walls like sinister tapestries, and dust motes danced in the stagnant air. As Sarah combed through the deserted rooms, she stumbled upon clues that hinted at a darker reality lurking beneath the surface of Willow Creek. A torn photograph, a blood-stained carpet, and the faint smell of decay filled the air, painting a chilling portrait of the horrors that had unfolded within these walls. With each new revelation, Sarah's resolve hardened, fueled by a desperate need for answers, and a fear that the truth might be more terrifying than she dared to imagine. In the dim light of the basement, Sarah's flashlight beam fell upon a sight that froze the blood in her veins. There, hidden in a forgotten corner amidst the shadows, lay the lifeless body of Mrs. Johnson, her vacant eyes staring into oblivion. Horror clenched at Sarah's heart as she recoiled in shock, her mind struggling to comprehend the gruesome scene before her. Mrs. Johnson's frail form bore the unmistakable marks of violence, a silent testament to the unspeakable fate that had befallen her. Tears welled in Sarah's eyes as she realized the magnitude of the evil that lurked in their once peaceful neighborhood. With trembling hands, she reached for her phone, her fingers fumbling as she dialed the emergency number, knowing that the nightmare had only just begun. As Sarah turned to flee the basement, a chilling voice pierced the silence, freezing her in her tracks. Leaving so soon, Sarah? The voice sent a shiver down her spine, its tone dripping with malice. Slowly, Sarah turned to face the source of the voice, her heart pounding in her chest. Standing before her, bathed in the sickly glow of the basement light, was a figure she had never expected to see. A neighbor she had known for years, their features contorted by madness. With a deranged smile, they revealed themselves as the perpetrator behind Mrs. Johnson's disappearance, their eyes gleaming with a twisted fervor. In a chilling confession, they detailed their sinister motives their words laced with madness and malevolence. As Sarah stood paralyzed with fear, she realized that she was staring into the face of pure evil and that she might not escape with her life. With adrenaline coursing through her veins, Sarah's survival instinct kicked into overdrive. Ignoring the pounding of her heart and the tremble in her limbs, she made a split-second decision to fight for her life. With a primal scream, she launched towards the basement stairs her footsteps echoing in the darkness like a drumbeat of defiance. Behind her, she could hear the perpetrator's maniacal laughter, their footsteps closing in with terrifying speed. Desperation lent her strength as she raced towards the safety of the outside world, her breath coming in ragged gasps. Bursting through the basement door, 
Sarah stumbled into the blinding sunlight, her heart pounding. With one final glance over her shoulder, she saw the shadowy figure disappear back into the depths of the house, their laughter echoing hauntingly in her ears. As she collapsed onto the dewy grass, relief washed over her like a tidal wave, mingled with the bitter taste of fear. Though she had escaped the clutches of darkness, she knew that the memory of that harrowing night would linger in her mind forever, a chilling reminder of the fragility of safety in a world filled with shadows.